Moments like these are how Brittany and John Knutson will always remember their dog, Nala. You just have the her nose on the back of their jacket, just kind of following them around. She was super sweet and gentle, and those were definitely her kids. So. It's been really tough not having her here. She's been gone since March 29th. That Sunday evening, the couple was working in their backyard when Nala jumped up on the deck wanting to go inside. Brittany went ahead and let her in through the house. And from there, she unfortunately got out through the garage over here. Neighbor Darla Yamada saw part of what happened next. Well, I could see the dogs because they looked like they had stopped. And then I saw Nala running across. And of course, she's a big dog and her leaps are very large. And then the next thing I know, there was no barking, no growling, no, no commotion, no nothing. And then I heard the gunshot. At the sound, John ran to the front of the house. Nala was jogging across the street, just kind of happy as can be. She didn't even realize that she had been shot yet. And I didn't either until she had reached me approximately right here. And that's whenever I looked over her and noticed that she had a chest wound. He saw a couple standing there with their two dogs. The woman had shouted that your dog was attacking us, but the time frame doesn't really add up and the speed of everything is very strange. John carried Nala to the truck and rushed to the vet. Brittany called 911. I was telling them, don't leave. What are you doing? Because I still saw him walking away. And I said, I'm on the phone with the cops. You can't leave. You need to stay here. Spring Hill police arrived and took witness statements. Later, Darla Yamada saw the couple and their dogs leaving with no apparent injuries. They were walking down the street just like they had before when they when I saw them going down that direction earlier. At the vet, John learned Nala's injuries were too severe. She had to be euthanized. Nothing will bring her back, and that's a very tough pill to swallow right now. A tougher pill to swallow is what Spring Hill Police then told the family. They were able to discharge a firearm within city limits because we were in violation of the leash law, and they were fearing for their safety. The 41 Action News investigators tried to get the full police report, but the department would only turn over the first page. It lists Mark Cantrell as the victim. We learned he's an Olathe police officer. His wife, Jessica Cantrell, an Overland Park animal control officer, who we had previously interviewed for a separate story. We first tried reaching out to them on Monday. After calls and texts to the couple went unanswered, we knocked on their door, but no one answered. The Spring Hill Police Department won't release any details of the incident, saying it's, quote, still under investigation. It just scared me to death that someone is out walking their dogs and carrying a gun. My first thought is, there's children in this neighborhood, there's people outside. If he had missed her, it could have hit someone else. Aside from questions, the Knutsons were left with a gaping hole in their hearts. Even just looking out in the backyard, um, when my kids are out there playing, uh, it's hard to, you know, I expect to see her out there following them around and she's not there anymore. A petition on change.org called Justice for Nala has more than 17,000 signatures. We're going to continue pushing for answers in this case, and if you have information, you can contact me at cat.read at kshb.com. I'm Investigator Cat Reed, 41 Action News. The Olathe Police Department says the officer reported this incident to them and described it as a traumatic incident for everyone involved and said an internal investigation was initi initiated. The Nutsons are now working with an attorney to explore any legal options.